everyone, welcome to today's video. I have a little review and demo of the new By Terry Sun Designer palette. Uh, so this year they did come out with two of them. I loved mine from last year, so I decided to pick up one from this year. Same like I did last year, so I'm going to share a quick little review and do some swatches and a little application so you guys can see how it performs on the skin. We'll talk about it, you know. By Terry has been a favorite brand of mine for a while now. I truly love the history behind the brand, the creator, uh, Terry de Gunsberg, her history. I think it's just awesome. Um, all my other By Terry videos I'll link for you if you want to check them out because I love the brand. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about the new Sun Designer palette. This is this year's packaging. Uh, it's got that nice tropical vibe to it, which I love. It's cute. Why not? So it's called the Sun Designer Palette Summer Edition. This is six shades, sun-kissed powders, and I got number four, Savannah Love. Are you ready for this year's packaging? Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's got like golden palms on it. It's so, so pretty. Nice and thin. It's very similar to last year's. This is last year's. Very similar in a sense that they pretty much look the same, just have different uh, designs. So you still get, so you do get 15 grams of product or 0 0.53 ounces and that's exactly what last year's was as well. So when you open it up, there is a really good quality, nice mirror and here is what the palette looks like. And I decided to go with this one because the other one, it was bright, but because last year's I went with the brighter one, this year I decided to go with the more toned down one. So this is the one I went for last year and I love. So that's why I went with this one this year. So as you can see, it comes with six shades total, bronzer, blush, and highlight. So like a lot of my By Terry products, I purchased this from Beautylish and this retails for $82. So let me tell you what it is described as. The Savannah Love, it features six shades that can be used to sculpt, bronze, and highlight. It includes soft baby pink, warm gold, vibrant berry, creamy beige, warm peach, and a deep bronze brown. Ooh, yes. In this palette, you are getting a combination of luminous satin and natural matte finishes, which I love. Let's go ahead and do some swatches and then we'll apply it to the skin. I can't believe how much this looks like I haven't touched it. And for those of you who are concerned about the size and how they may be quite close together, not to worry. I so the three brushes that I used with last year's palette, because the layout is exactly the same and I had no issues. Um, because I know a lot of people were concerned about the size of the pans and how close they are together that you would just mix all your product together. But number one, when you mix them all together, they do come out really pretty on the skin. But I have my three brushes that I use and was able to get product with no issues. So for highlight, as you can see, I can fit this brush in there with no issue. For blush, the same. Right down here. And my bronzer brush, the same. No issues. So if, you, if the colors end up mixing together, they always end up looking really good. And you are able to target where you want to pick a product and have no issues with muddying all the product together. But anyways, let's go ahead and do some swatches. We'll start with this side here. I'm going to go from top. The bottom. They don't really have names, but they did have a little description on Beautylish. They're super creamy, just like all her other blushes and bronzer products. So these are the three from this here. Let me swatch them for you. Broke a nail, don't mind. Oh yes. They are super pigmented, very buttery soft, very, very easy to work with. And I know, speaking on last year's formula, that when I went to apply them to the face, they just like melded into my skin. Uh, just, I love the finish. So these are the first three. This is like a very soft pink. I more so would use this as a highlight or mix it with the blush. 
this. This is this would make a pretty highlight or blush topper, and then this for me would be a blush. And I'll be honest with you, I can already see myself mixing all three of these together to get a beautiful flush of color on my cheek area. Let's move on to this area here, which has the bronzer, the blush, and the highlight. Ooh, that bronzer is gorgeous. Super pretty. This bronzer is going to look gorgeous. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but there's nothing more beautiful than a little hint of shimmer in your bronzer when you want to just give that glowy, beachy vibe on the skin. So I'm really excited to try this. And this is, this is definitely a nice blush for me and this highlight. Really, really loving these. All right, let's try these bad boys on the face. All right, so I'm dying to dive into the bronzer. So I'm gonna be using my Wayne Goss Numero 11. And I'm gonna go in to the bronzer. You get a little bit of kick up, but it's powder, guys. It's gonna kick up. It's life. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, but I just thought I'd mention it. Here goes, and I'm using the mirror. Oh shit, that's kind of dark. <laughs> Not bad. Once you blend it out a little bit. I did not expect it to be that, like, ugh. It has a tiniest bit of shimmer to it, but it looks good. Oh, these ugly craters on my face. <laughs> it's okay. So that is what this shade here looks like on my face. Now I go in this order normally, so I'm going to do it as I swatch as well. I'm going to go into the highlight shade here, this top shade. And this is my Wayne Goss, the airbrush. And I'm just sweeping over top. Damn. I'm gonna knock some of that off. Oh my God. This seems to be like matte, but let's see how it applies onto my skin. That's pretty. That is pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, bye Terry. I see you. See you. Like it looked matte, but it has a little bit of reflect to it. Looks very, very pretty. This is my gloss number 14 and I'm gonna dip that into the center shade here. Tap off that. See how this goes. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Now, I like going in that order for this reason. Bronzer, highlight, and then you diffuse your blush into it. So there's none of that harshness where it's a line. Align, align. It almost just lets everybody meld together nicely. Oh! So this side of my face is this side of the palette. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go to this side on this side. Okay, so because on this side there's really no bronzer, I went ahead and put this bronzer on. Just need the smallest amount. So I'm gonna take the pink color. Oh my God, so much product. I'm gonna use that as my highlight. Ooh, so gorgeous. Wow. And so 
show that we'll be able to use all of the products on my face. <laughs> I'm going to take this golden shade here. Wow, it's so much product. And just top it. Wow. See that right there? That's my kind of highlight. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Now, I'm going to go into the blush shade down here on my Wayne Goss number 14. This is uh, just the newer one from his newer collection. Okay, here goes. So much product. Do you see that? Oh, love it. Love it. Just melt these colors together. So gorgeous. Okay, so that is what the product looks like on my face. Oh my god. <gasps> this is really nice quality. It just literally melts into the skin. There's no harshness. It just and just looks gorgeous. So as you can see, the product applies beautifully to the skin, very pigmented. You literally need just the tiniest amount. So this is definitely one of those palettes that will last you because you don't need to use a lot of product because of the pigmentation. And I just love the way it looks on my skin. And that bronzer, that bronzer. <laughs> I wish I could have just that bronzer because it's so beautiful. I love it. It has the tiny, like I said, it has the tiniest amount of shimmer in it but it looks gorgeous on the skin and it doesn't look like chunking chunks of glitter on your face. So, so beautiful. And as you saw, I was able to work my brushes in here with no issues and I made it, and it, I didn't have really a complaint per se, but if you're like the type of person that likes these really humongo brushes, you might as well just mix them all together. And I know that they will look beautiful however you apply them. I plan on mixing them all together, especially over here over this side right here. Although using them alone is great, I definitely see myself mixing them all together and just creating my own little cocktails. That's the fun about makeup. Do what you like and have fun with it. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you picked up this palette, if you plan on it. Let me know your thoughts. Let's talk a little bit. Thank you very much for letting me share this with you. Stay beautiful guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.